All right, I got a truck here. We're doing five on the front doors, 20 over the factory on the rear, and I got a whole bunch of tools here to go through exactly what you're gonna need to tint something like this. I haven't even wiped it off, just pulled it in. So there's a lot of tools that you can obviously use. We have some triangles, we have some knives, we have some blades, uh, and then we also have some film. So, first things first, figure out what needs to go on the truck. We are gonna be using, like I said, five on the front, 20 on the back, over the privacy. First thing that I'm gonna grab is a towel. I need to wipe off the rainwater that's here. And then we're gonna go through basically some of the major options that you would use. Um, sprayer is kind of a big option. You can either use a spritzer bottle or you can use the three gallon spray tank that I use right now. So we'll get into sprayers a little bit more in another video. This is gonna be through like the main door window tinting. So however you put water on there, it's great. So first thing we're gonna do is 5%. We're gonna crack this puppy open. We're gonna grab our roll of film. Now, however you choose to get this out of the box uh, is up to you. I'll actually hold the roll up to the car. Spray a good layer of water on there. And then we're gonna unroll this onto the car. First thing I'm gonna be reaching for is a knife. Hang on, my knife is in an awkward position. Ooh, let me get my knife. Got it. That way we can cut off our roll of film. Wanna line that up. I like to line that bottom edge right along the bottom edge of the door window here. Make sure the sides are overlapped. And then since we're double cutting, I'm gonna flip this roll upside down, and then we're gonna put that right up here. And we're gonna cut two patterns out at the exact same time. Make sure we cut that off. Make sure it overlaps. Cool. Next thing I'm gonna be reaching for is gonna be a squeegee blade. Now, we have two options here. I love this handle, but for the blade, there's two sides to this one. This is my favorite squeegee blade. Blue Max is gonna be a close second. Whichever one you wanna put in there is gonna be great. So this has two sides, just two different hardnesses, but they both essentially feel the same. Uh, and then the Blue Max, just an all around great squeegee blade. So the reason why we need to pick that up first is because once I layer my patterns on top of each other, I'm gonna grab one of those squeegee blades and then I'm gonna tack those together. We're also going to slice off some of the excess film here. And then when we go to cut the sides, we start using the same knife, stainless steel. And we're gonna poke this up in the side here, go straight down, tear away. Then we're gonna loosen the film back up. And we're gonna slide this over to the right, we're gonna go over basically the entire width of this gasket right here. Still lining up the bottom. That just helps guide it so it lined up perfectly straight. Then we go here, go about an inch down from that edge, right in between the seal and the glass there, tear away. Then we're gonna drag it back about half as much. So we have about an eighth inch overlap here, about an eighth inch overlap there, might be a little bit more, on a truck, that's okay. Then we're gonna slide this down to really about where this ridge, maybe a little less than that. So where this drop off is. Kinda wanna make sure that we line it back down. I haven't grabbed for any other tools yet. So all we use is, is a squeegee blade, a sprayer, and a knife. And we're gonna mist our window one more time. Take one of those squeegee blades, tack it in place, then that's gonna essentially fix that in that position. So when we roll down for the top edge, uh, the window doesn't slide left or right. It stays completely fixed there. You can give a little wiggle test, make sure it doesn't move. Then we're gonna pick up the bottom edge of the window, run over here on the inside, roll down our window. There we go. Now we expose the top edge of the window. Now for this top edge, I prefer this green knife with this very sharp blade. It's a little thinner, it's a little easier to cut with. 
Uh, stainless steel is still great, perfectly sharp, great knife. Just don't put too much pressure when you're cutting along the top edge, but just to show you guys that it works just fine. It'll take a little bit of practice, obviously, but you're gonna poke that in, and then you're gonna go up. Just don't press the knife too hard against the glass, or you're gonna put a little score in that. So that worked out pretty well, but if I wanna refine my edge just a little bit farther, that's why I really like the thinness of this blade with the plastic knife, because then you can press the holder right up against it and shave off an even more accurate cut, just depending on how you get used to it. Both of them will do great, but this is essentially like dental floss now. So now we need to round the corners. So I can either do that right here in the car or I can go over to glass board. I've got this mirror set up, it works really well. This is an interesting build. Uh, I'll get more into this in a future video, but this was all ordered with stuff on Amazon, mirror from Lowe's. Total cost is probably about $300, where if you can find a used piece of glass on Marketplace, you can get glass for really cheap. But if you wanna find a nice little kit, and kind of like pre-assemble it yourself. That's where I found this kind of stuff. It's actually really easy to come by. I'm gonna go straight up here. Just follow that edge. Then we're gonna round our corner. The only weird thing about cutting on a mirror is that it screws with your depth a little bit. You end up seeing two edges twice. So cut that, and we're gonna cut this. Just try and go with that edge as close as you possibly can to continue that cut around the corner. And then we have a couple of patterns. These are all well and good. You can separate them there on the board or you can separate them here right on the car. So if I don't have a glass board, I am like 100% rounding all those corners and stuff right on the, right on the uh, car itself. Separate those. We're gonna take this over to the other side saves us a little time this way, cutting both patterns out at the same time. Set this on the window. I'm gonna tack that down. So since this is a newer truck, um, all my side seals should be relatively clean. So I actually haven't added tape to my side seals, but that's something I would typically end up doing. So we'll squeegee those. We're gonna turn on our heat gun. So as for heat gun, this is now $30 from like pretty much any hardware store, Walmart, you can find these all over the place. Cheapest Wagner heat gun, I still love these things. We're going to snap shrink the window here. I didn't even have to pick up a shrinking card here. This depends on the style that you shrink it. So that was a quick snap shrink. That's all set, ready to install. However, if we're going to do it the traditional way, we have a couple of options here. Both these cards are great and they work perfectly fine. It just depends on whatever your preferences are. So I like the rounded one a little bit better. It's got a little bit wider. It's a little bit thicker, but both of these um, are good options here. Now what we're gonna do uh, let me track down my sprayer really quick. Is I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're gonna loosen this back up from the window. We're gonna miss this. We're gonna layer this on the glass, spray, and then we're gonna squeegee it from the very top and try and get as much curve into the center of our window as possible. And that's where you start getting some of these fingers. So then you're gonna grab your heat gun and then you're gonna grab that shrinking card. You're gonna press some of the water out and you'll get those fingers to be a little bit more defined. Take a heat gun, get them to zigzag. It's a little game of whack-a-mole. Heat them up, press them down, heat them up, press them down. And then just go across from this to here. Don't go on the edges, don't go on this overlap. Just focus on the fingers that are popping up on the bottom. There's another one. 
and keep the heat gun moving. So once you've done that, hey, my window shrunk, right? Almost. Lift the film up about like six inches, let it drop, lightly card that side, lightly card this side, and then have all this material floating. Take that heat gun again, and then you're gonna go throw some heat on those air pockets, especially on the bottom. Just make sure it lays nice and tight. And then we further shrunk our window so it's ready to install and you shouldn't have any fingers that time. So that's a longer way of doing exactly what we did on the opposite side here. So let's go back over. And what we're gonna grab next is a couple things. We're gonna grab a razor blade out of this pack right here. These are just single edge razor blades. You don't need to make sure that they're stainless steel. You can use whatever razor blades you want. I'm gonna need a towel. I'm also gonna grab our door cover. So if this truck was a little bit older, I would also be grabbing our seal guard tape and I would tape the sides. Um, that I'd have to roll the window down to do this, but I tape the sides and make sure the edges are a little bit cleaner. But for the door panel guard, let's just Open this up. This is a quick and easy way to protect the door panels. It's got the same tape as our seal guard tape. So it's a really sticky tape. And then we're gonna unroll this. We're gonna set this, push that down, kinda out of the way. We're just gonna go on the top of the door panel. This will help keep water off the door panel as we're tinting it. Then I'm gonna take my knife, cut this off, and then this is just gonna drop down along the window or along the door panel here. I use that to help keep water obviously off there. So quick and easy way to do that. I'm gonna grab my sprayer. Reason why I grabbed a razor blade over a scrub pad is we're gonna make sure that we don't have any stickers. I saw one on the other side. I don't see one on this side. So you'd probably be okay with something like this, which is the scrub it. These are great, I love them, use them all the time, especially on back windows. The only thing about a scrub pad versus a razor blade is a razor blade is kind of a guaranteed way to make sure everything's scraped off the window. Where a scrub pad looks like you cleaned everything, but you couldn't feel anything. So if there's a little sticky bit, if there's a sticker, you'll scrub right over it without even realizing it's there unless you saw it. Where this, I don't have to necessarily see it to scrape over something, but I know exactly when I hit something. i roll this down a little bit, spray it. You just hold it at a nice low angle to the glass. So that's why it doesn't really matter if you use carbon steel or stainless steel. It's because you're just scraping over the surface. And then we're gonna take our towel, go over the very top of the glass here. Make sure that that is perfectly clean. And then one thing that I can see right here, is my cut on this window could be just a little bit better. Any notches, any little peaks, you wanna make sure you straighten it all out and it's going completely flush with the rest of it. So you wanna make sure it's just gonna scoot right up to the edge without any problem. Now we double cut that, so that's gonna be the same thing on the other side, I have to fix it. So, now that this is all scraped, we can clean it. That's where sometimes it's extra nice to like have a couple squeegee handles and squeegee blades. You can use one of these squeegees immediately for squeegeeing and cleaning uh, but you can also keep them separate. And then I need one more tool right now. I need one of these cards. There's a lot of different triage cards. These are called the Triage X cards. We have a special edition studio one because they really like us, which is amazing. Uh, and then these are all just different hardnesses. Pinks are gonna be soft. Blues are gonna kind of be in between. This is a new special edition that they have. Greens are gonna be a little bit stiffer, um, but they all do the job really, really well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swipe the sides. That's all I need this for, swiping the sides. It's great for that. So to recap, squeegee blade, squeegee top to bottom. 
and then grab your card, flex it against the glass, squeegee down, squeegee down. Missed it again. Now we're all set for installing. We've only used really a handful of tools. So there's so many things out there uh, and everything's got a purpose. But you just wanna be very clear on like the intention of every tool. There's lots of extra things that you can buy that you don't necessarily need, but there are some things, you know, they all have their place. They're all useful in one way or another. Just some you're gonna be using a lot more freque frequently than others. So we still have one more tool to grab, but we don't need it yet. Most important thing to tucking window tint on the side here, roll up the tint portion. I leave that right below the seal. And then I just make sure this is flat. And I slide that right into the side. Making sure the tint is flat on the leading edge is so important. So roll that up, get it that leading edge to lay flat. And then your film will go right into the side there. Stretch your film out and then see that nice top edge cut that we got. Run your finger over the top, make sure you're not going over. If you push it up a little too high, it's fine. Shift it down. Just get below that top edge. So you can see if those corners hooked up at all, you gotta drop the pattern down even farther. You don't wanna do that. You just wanna keep it as close as you can. So, installation squeegee, cleaning squeegee, you can use one for both. There's no problem with that. You're just gonna wear a squeegee blade out a little bit faster. I love the feel of this one. It's awesome. But I could very easily switch over to the hybrid and do the exact same thing. Then we're gonna take the corner card, the tri-edge, swipe, swipe. But if I want to use the pink one, I could do the exact same thing. It's gonna be used in the exact same spot, exact same purpose, a little more heat resistant on these cards. So it's sometimes you wanna buy some extra things just to like see the feel of them, but you only need to pick like one type really. Don't go overboard uh, with like confusion and stuff. Windows rolled up. We're gonna peel out this liner. And we're gonna spritz that glue. And then we're gonna tuck it in. Oh no, I need, I need something to tuck. That is where I'm gonna pick up my last tool for the install. That's gonna be the shank here. So we're gonna be able to pry back that seal, start one corner. What I like about this funny butter knife is it stays out of your way. Gives you a little bit more space to work with. And go ahead, pull that seal back, work that film down. And if you didn't cut your sides too wide and you didn't cut the bottom edge too long, that makes it a lot easier to tuck. Spray, put some nice firm passes on it, but start towards the top center and always work your way out. Don't just squeegee here in the middle and then overlap some of that water. Start at the outmost part of it and work it over together. And essentially what you're doing is you're spreading out the film, sweeping out all the air pockets. And then see, look, we'll grab this one for, for this case. Who cares? We could use the green one, we could use the pink. Swipe all the way deep in the seals. Clear that water past all the edges. And at the very end, some firm passes, top to bottom. There you go. Swipe all the way across and just make sure you get all that water out of there. And then a little extra pressure along that stamping helps clear all that air out. There you go. So then we grab our towel, we wipe off the window because we have to check over our work. We did everything right. Everything should be good. And we should be free to move on to the next door window. Whew. Beautiful. That's, that looks great. I didn't have to use seal tape on the sides. Big part of keeping a window clean is just your installation process. So the cleaner that you can leave everything, or the more direct that you can have your installation, the cleaner everything's gonna be. Cool, so we wanna take some of these over to the other side. Um, gotta do that. Obviously, you gotta tint the rest of the windows. 
But just kind of wanted to run you guys through exactly what tools that you need to tint um, basically any door window. There's a lot of options and a lot of things that you can use that are extra, but let's see. See, like all, there's all this extra stuff, right? There's all these extra things. You don't need all of them. It's just figuring out what works best for you and then knowing what everything's for. So in case you need it, you know it's available. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments below. I'm gonna get to the rest of this truck um, and I'm not gonna use any different tools even for the back window here. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.